sponsored by Skillshare. 2019 is over. Everything that would ship did ship. And now it's time to let the past die, to kill it if you have to. It's the only way for all of us to get what comes next. Wait, no, that sounds so nihilistic. And I'm like so totally optimistic about what this year could bring. So let's just go over it all. I'm Renee Ritchie and this is Vector. Apple used to make big announcements in January. The iPhone in 2007, the MacBook Air in 2008, and of course the iPad in 2010, which they may just celebrate just a little bit when it hits the big 1-0 later this month. But the most we've gotten over the last few years, tying with the annual CES show in Las Vegas, are announcements about HomeKit partnerships, and most recently, AirPlay 2 and Apple TV Plus partnerships. Six to five and pick them, we see more of the same this year. March events have varied a lot as well. Last year, we got an all services affair with Apple Card, News Plus, Apple Arcade, and TV Plus. Year before, an education event with the entry level iPad and everyone can create. In 2015 though, we got everything from the original Apple Watch launch to the 12 inch MacBook introduction. To me though, it's 2016 that really stands out. Back then, we got the 9.7 inch iPad Pro and the iPhone SE. There have been rumors of an iPad Pro update with better iPhone 11 Pro style cameras for a while now. I covered them in depth in my last video. And of course, an updated iPhone SE style device built off the iPhone 8 platform, but with iPhone 11 style internals for a low, low entry level price. I've done a video on that before as well, link to both in the description. There's even an outside chance Apple might have the 16 inch MacBook Pro style update for the current 13 inch ready to go by then as well. Intel willing. That would give it the much better new scissor switch keyboard and speaker system and hopefully other updated specs as well. We might even see the long awaited AirTags announcement so the Find My Network can really start to shine. And of course, updates to any and all of those services. News Plus needs a second year Apple Music style do over so badly at this point. Add it all up and it would make for one hell of a spring lineup. The first week of June always brings Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference, WWDC, and that brings new versions of all of Apple's operating systems, which would now include macOS, please don't call it Orizaba, 10.16, as well as iOS 14, iPadOS 14, tvOS 14, and watchOS 7. There's so much to cover there, I'll do a whole video on it, but suffice to say, Apple can't afford a repeat of last year's buggy launches. They need a 2018 style refocus on performance and stability, and to make that the new normal just every year. And while WWC is primarily about software, it's also seen more than its fair share of hardware. Last year gave us the first look at the new Mac Pro and Pro Display XDR. 2017 gave us two new iPads Pro, updated MacBooks Pro, updated iMacs, and the first iMac Pro, as well as the original HomePod. If we don't get the iPads Pro in March, June would be the next logical time. Same with the updated 13 or 14 inch MacBook Pro. The iMac is begging for its bezel deleting update as well, but despite how long it's been, it might still be too early. Updated Xeons and graphics card options for the iMac Pro would be outstanding though. Same with the long rumored HomePod mini announcement. If there's one sure thing in tech for the last many years, it's been an iPhone and Apple Watch event in the second week of September. This year that means the iPhone 12 with its iPhone 4 style redesign, which I legit cannot wait for. The Braun and Leica inspired design language was so great and the recent iPad Pro update such a tease for its return. Also the rear facing augmented reality true depth camera that I've been waiting years to finally see and 5G in the few markets where it will just start making sense this year. Apple Watch is still missing two big features as well, sleep tracking and full on independence from the iPhone. Here's hoping we get at least the first of these this year. And of course, some type of new finish, though I'm not exactly sure what that could be at this point. If Apple has next generation AirPods, maybe even over the ear AirPods, they could make an appearance here as well. So could a VR slash AR headset, if that's really in the cards before sexier, sleeker Apple glasses launch sometime in the future. Okay, October isn't exactly winter, but it fits the seasonal structure I have going here. So let's just go with it. Apple doesn't always do October events. They didn't do one last year. The year before though, we got the new MacBook Air, the new Mac mini and the redesigned iPad Pro. If Apple doesn't get the new scissor switch keyboard and 10th generation chipsets, 
into the MacBook Air earlier in the year, October would be the time to do it. Likewise, the Mac Mini, which needs constant updates to stay relevant after being left fallow low these many years. The big rumor though, is a truly next level MacBook Pro and iPad Pro with mini LED displays, which could be XDR style displays. Apple could bump the base six inch MacBook Pro to 10th generation Intel Silicon whenever it's ready. And that would also give us integrated Wi-Fi 6. Likewise, the base camera bump for the iPads Pro could come much earlier. But if Apple is willing to do with them what they did with the iPhone 10 and temporarily add a skew at the very top to bring new technology to the market faster, wow, howdy would this be the way to do it? If I could, I'd animate it all up for you, but that's where Kyrgyzakt and Skillshare come in. If you've seen The Egg, legit one of the best YouTube videos of 2019, then you've seen them in action. And with Skillshare and Motion Graphics Part 1, you can see exactly how they do it. Seriously, so many cartoon birds gave their lives to get you these videos. So many. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes in photography, video, business, technology, everything you need to make your life better. Premium membership gives you unlimited access to high quality classes on must know topics so you can get better at your job, get a better job, or just learn something that fulfills you that's not your job. Join more than 7 million creators learning with Skillshare. Just visit the link in the description and get two months of unlimited access to thousands of classes for free. Act now and start learning today. Thanks Skillshare and thanks to all of you for supporting the show. So that's the bare outline, the skeleton of what I'm expecting from Apple this year. But now I wanna hear from you. Hit like if you do, subscribe and time of flight the bell gizmo. It's the only way YouTube will actually tell you when new videos go live. Then hit up the comments and let me know. What do you expect to see from Apple in 2020? And what do you kind of really just wanna see? Thanks for watching, see you next video.